So um, economic order quantity, EOQ, is a decision model that calculates the optimum quantity of inventory to order under a given set of assumptions. The formula to calculate EOQ is like this. It's the square root of 2DP divided by C. C uh, D is the demand in units for a specific period. P is the relevant ordering cost per purchase order. And the C is the relevant carrying cost of one unit in stock for the uh, time period uh, used for the D demand. So how to derive this formula EOQ? Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you that mathematics deriv derivation on this formula. So first, let's calculate ordering cost. We use demand divided by the number of order, the EOQ. So this gives me the number of orders per, per period. And then at times, the purchasing cost for each purchase order. That's my total ordering cost. Carrying cost is calculated by the average inventory units times carrying cost per unit. So the inventory level uh, over time under the EOQ model looks like this. So from this picture, you can see that the inventory is between uh, EOQ and zero. Okay. So the average of inventory is half of EOQ. So the average inventory level is EOQ divided by two and times C, that's the carrying cost. So therefore my total cost equals ordering cost plus carrying cost. And that equals um, D times P divided by EOQ plus EOQ times C divided by two. The objectives of the inventory management is to find the EOQ that will achieve the minimum cost. Let's assume A equals D times P divided by EOQ and the B equals EOQ times C divided by two. So A times B, that equals D times P times C divided by two. So that's multiplication of A and B is a constant. So we want to know the cost A plus B. So from mathematics, we know A plus B um, is greater or equal to two times square root AB. Okay, so the minimum cost is achieved when A equals B. So A equals B, I set up that equation, and when I solve the equation, the EOQ square equals 2DP divided by C. So EOQ equals square root 2 times d times p divided by c. Okay, so we have proved that the formula is correct. So thank you for watching.